It's the Ball Sports Bet Zone this week, and it's the penultimate week of the Premier League season. And looking ahead to not really a massive weekend of Premier League action. There's some good games, but nothing really too important. I'm delighted to say we've got a good guest, but nothing really too important as well to go with the games. Former midfielder for Wimbledon, Mr. Peter Fear. Peter, how are you? Not bad, Nigel. No, thank you. How's it been the season? Oh, you look happy. What, what, what's the matter with you? The introductions I'll get off you, mate, put me down a little bit, you know. I think really? I deserve more, yeah, you know. But uh, <laughs> here you go, I'm going to get well, me on back one day. Well, yeah, there's one you, more week to go. You probably do. But anyway, enough of that. Let's have a look at the, seven, the, <laughs> the Saturday's game, BT Sport 12.45. The first game in the Premier League this weekend. It's Southampton. They're at home at St Mary's against Aston Villa. Now, four or five weeks ago, you looked at this game and thought this was home bankers. But Southampton in absolute all coins of trouble. Uh, they haven't won in the last four games. Uh, they don't want, really want to be in the Europa League. No one really wants that. Does Southampton want it? We'll find out. But that's the bit of nine to two. They're in a bit of form, but they got one eye on an FA Cup final. Peter, what do you think about this weekend's games? How do we make any money? Uh, I, I don't know. It's a tough one. But look at the Villa there, nine to two. I'm thinking they need to win. They're playing well. Southampton are struggling a little bit. And uh, sometimes you think he's petering out the season. It's going a bit poor. But it's time to make money. So ignore Southampton. What you said, they don't want the Europa League. They wanted more than that at the start. They was top three for six, seven months. It's Peter in a but they don't want that. They can sort of consolidate now, rebuild. But nine to two Villa, that's how you make money. Playing well, not really getting well. scoring goals. I mean, since the yeah. come in, Benteke obviously it's flying. Superb. Uh, would it be one for the double bubble? Obviously, this weekend in the Premier League, if your first goal score winning selection scores inside the first twenty minutes on all Premier League games this weekend, Ball Sports will double the odds on that player. And last week we got Sergio Aguero who landed the double bubble, and we also got John Terry who got the first goal tipped on his show here at twenty to one double bubble wrapped up to forties. Do you think? Ben Tecker would be a good bet on this one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he's on fire. When he's when he's low on confidence, he's a poor player, but now he's looking superb. So double bubble there, yeah. He's he put the ball in the box now, he's attacking everything. He looks he looks a a, a top, top player. So, yeah, double bubble, go for it. And double bubble. Uh, Southampton, like I say, haven't won in the last four. They lost 2 0 against Leicester. This game last season was 3 2 to Aston Villa. So, you know, this this could be a big price, is 9 2. And as Peter said, you do get some shot results towards the end of the season. Last six years of this fixture, both teams have scored. I quite like that, Pete. 20 to 23, both teams have scored. Mm. Would be a yes or no man? Yeah, definitely. 2 1. 2-1 to Villa? Villa, yeah. Ben Teke, both of them. Uh, ben Teke to get the both. Ben Teke land a double bubble. Both teams to score, yes. And that's part one of my enhanced treble with Boar Sports this weekend, which is both teams to score in a southampton Aston Villa game. And what probably isn't, doesn't look on, the, on paper one of the exciting games of the weekend could be a very entertaining affair. OK, 5.50, going to go now north. We're going to go up to Liverpool. Liverpool, they're at home to Crystal Palace. And all eyes are going to be on one man. No, it's not... Let Dejan Lovren, it's Steven Gerrard. 40 to 85, Liverpool. A bit of a strange price, but uh, well, Layman's turns around about 4 to 9. Liverpool, very short price favourite. 7 to 1, Crystal Palace. Uh, Palace, not in any form coming in. They've lost their last four after what's been a great season, but it's all about one man, isn't it, Steven Gerrard? Yeah, he does. He's been superb, and he does come up with big goals. When when he played QPR the other week and he missed the penalty at the cop end, everyone's thinking that he comes up 10 minutes later, goal. So uh, you'd think. He'll be looking to score a penalty free kick, and it does happen with him, you know. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a big game, and it'll be a good atmosphere, big atmosphere for Liverpool. So, it'll, be, it'll get all the players up. It may be it might have petered out again, but because of that reason, Liverpool looks strong. And tickets are going absolute fortunes as well for Stephen Gerrard's finale. Uh, they've got a good record here as well. They've won their last five games against Crystal Palace, some big wins as well 3 1, 3 2, 5 0. So, odds on backers will be out in force here for Liverpool at 40 to 85. Uh, Stephen Gerrard, 11 to 2 to score the first goal. Would that be something to tempt you for the double bubble? Uh, I'd, I might mind him uh, to score any time. Well, that's 31 yeah. to 20, and I like that as well. Yeah, I prefer that really because uh, he sort of just creeps into the game late on and he'll stay on for the full I'll say 88 minutes, not the full 98, 88, 80, and get the stand innovation, you know, so he'll probably score get the stand innovation, cry Done. But you've got to think as well, Steven Gerrard could be the man in the match markets. You know, he's going, yeah. to, be, he's going to be the, the all the, the, the Gerrard specials who kind of come out here. Every Liverpool player, if they're one or two, are going to be passing to him to get the goal. Now, I remember famously years ago in Wimbledon days, there was always like a, uh, there was always rumours that there was a bet on one player who, yeah. who never scored a goal. and it's getting, it, it happens, doesn't it? It does happen. I mean, it's a little bit different from the Wimbledon days. No, no. It, but we, we had like Fashion who playing and he was on a goal bonus. So if it, if it was a penalty, he, he wasn't the best striker of the ball in the world. He took the penalty. If he scored the penalty, we got a little 
Bonus. Well, there you go. I don't think that happened with Stephen Gerrard. I don't know. I don't think it But there you go. That was 20 years ago. Well, 20 years ago, and the game has changed. Uh, yeah. Great set, but winners are winners. And I think Stephen Gerrard score any time as Peter Lully to there at 31 to 20 is a better bet. But I wouldn't rule out the 11 to 2 on him scoring the first goal. And if he does score in that drive, that 20 minutes, you're getting a double bubble, which is almost 11 to 1. So that's the Liverpool game. Move on to Sunday, 1.30. Uh, team that really surprised me in the last few weeks. Swansea, 4 to 1. Everybody says when they're up against teams at the mid table is you know you don't you want to be playing these kind of sides but Swansea are absolutely unbelievable well undefeated in their last seven uh, Gary Munk has done a tremendous job here and against the Man City side very indifferent could be brilliant one week poor the next they won 6-0 last time out but Swansea did go to Arsenal and win 1-0 and they've got a decent record in this fixture what do you think of this game uh, yes, well, I'm looking at it in paper now I, I backed the, the draw Arsenal Swansea in a week and Arsenal battered them but it was just there was nothing really going on. Swansea were comfortable. So they're looking good. And then I watched the Man City QPR game and they looked superb. But uh, another game is quite interesting now. Not that not that bothered about the result. No one is. But it's quite interesting to see. I played with Gary Monk at Oxford when we got relegated, funny enough. And he was a good lad then. He came on loan. I think he was on loan from Swansea. And he was pretty straight but knew his job and quiet and got him a thing. And he's doing the same as management, so he's doing really well. And they, I've got a slim chance of making the Europa League. And of all the three teams, they'll want to do it. They did it early. They got obviously there early in the season. Yeah. They're, they're, fa they're fancy, wouldn't they? And they'll want to now because he's pushing on because they're beating their points record. It's a great season for him. It's all good in his CV. It gives him another two or three years at least to rebuild. So uh, it's a bit more interesting games. But for punting betting, I think... People like the neutrals probably won't watch it for a punt. And I think it's quite a good game to have a bet. Yeah, Man City are 8 to 11 to win. So I don't usually like odds on the ways they're the best of time, especially not towards the end of the season. And I quite like Swansea double chance here, which is 6 to 5, which means you get the draw and a Swansea win and a little bit bigger than even money. Would you mm. fancy a bit of that? Fantastic bit. I didn't know that one. Yeah, that's, that's the bet. That's the bet, Swansea, and the draw, which is 6-5. to five. We like that a lot here. Uh, obviously, Wilfred Boney going against his former side. Hasn't had the best of times at Man City. Uh, only scored a couple of goals. But what were we looking for for the um, double bubble? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Boney's playing, I think it's his old club or something. And uh, you, you think he will play, so... I don't know. It's a, it's a tough game, so the double bubble, I'd leave alone that game. Leave alone the double bubble, but for me, Gomez uh, scored the goal against Arsenal, but I do think Swansea have a chance here, and 6-5 to five on the double chance is definitely the way to go. 4 o'clock, Super Sunday, Manchester United, they're at home to Arsenal. Arsenal famously went there for the first time in about 50 years and won in the FA Cup this season, but Arsenal very, very poor in midweek against Swansea. Manchester United coming on a win against Crystal Palace. Champions League is almost assured, but they want to be as high as they can, and Arsenal chasing for the run up position. Um, what do you think here? Looks a good game, I think, Nigel. You know, uh, they're both, it'll be wide open. Man United ain't playing the best, but they're quite wide open. Arsenal, only had, they had a blip against Swansea, I think. They still had all the possession, but they couldn't put it away. I think that'd be a good game. I think it'd be wide open, lots of chances, and I think there'd be a few goals. Both teams to score? Definitely. Both teams to score. Definite from Peter here. Both mm. teams to score. Not, it was in the cup game, but prior to that, not many games both teams to score. Arsenal, uh, great run, but that was defeat. How much had it taken out of them? And that really, is it important the runners-up spot? Uh, not really. I mean, people don't really care. It's a second and third just as important. Come third, just as important as second. So, no. Not but really. one thing you don't want to do is fourth, isn't it? No, you obviously don't. that's where you don't want to be. Yeah, and that's what Arsenal, they think after that, they want to just make sure they don't get beaten here and then they just secure it, you know? Mm -hmm. Man United lost their last home game 1-0 to West Brom, obviously, and they missed the penalty in that game. They got a penalty mm. at the weekend. Matter took it. But the man who scores all the goals at Manchester United at home at Old Trafford is Wayne Rooney. He scored in 15 of their last 17 games. Got to mm. be a bit. Yeah, it is a bit. Yeah, I'd, I'd uh, side on, say, someone like Giroud to score the first goal, to be honest, of Arsenal. I think they're nicking it. They come out strong, so maybe they score first. So, Giroud for Pete. I'm going to go for Wayne Rooney. One thing we both agree on both teams to score, but I wouldn't really like to call which way this gonna game goes. Gonna, sorry, game is going to go because I think Manchester United, last day, uh, last home game of the season against an Arsenal side, smarting a bit from that defeat. I think it's a tricky one to call, and so are the odds. Uh, let's have a look at the final game Monday night. West Brom, they're at home to Chelsea. Champions Chelsea. Chelsea unbeaten in their last eight. 18 games. West Brom caught a bit of form though. They're unbeaten in their last four. 1-1 one, one last season this game was and the two seasons before West Brom won this game. Mm. Oh, it's a tricky game for them, but it's a funny how 
the Chelsea players get up for this, I do not know. They've won it at a Kent and they're going to West Brom on a Monday night. It, there'll be a few changes for Chelsea. They, the, the lad in midfield, Loftus Cheek, he played, he played really well. I think they might see the, the, a couple of strikers maybe on the bench and being put on to see. So it's a one to uh, be careful with. Very careful. I, I quite like West Brom here. I really do. I think they've got a great chance. Their last game of the season, famously mm. they drew with Manchester United when yeah. they were five, 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 all, yeah, that's goals right, yeah. here. Yeah. I think West Brom uh, go there with no fear. Chelsea, why do they want to do this? They're exactly, yeah. But it's a Monday night one as well. It, 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 it is hard, even for players now, to get up on a Monday night. Not, not get up on a Monday night, but get well, up for the players, year. Yeah, yeah. Really so I, I struggle to get up on a Monday yeah. night now. But, but no, it'll be a tough game. So uh, I'd leave that alone. If you have to have a bet, yeah, West Brom, bit of value. West Brom, bit of value, 31 to 10. I quite like West Brom a lot here. I want to be taking on uh, Chelsea. I also like the West Brom double chances. I'm looking for a, a goal scorer. Where are we going to go? Team news is crucial, though, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. We don't know with Chelsea who they're going to be playing if they're playing a the youngster. The youngsters come in sometimes and they're buzzing and they do score. And they score on their debuts, I think. So wait until the team news comes out and then decide your first goal scorer. I'm going to put up a big price double bubble here. I'm going to put up Chris Brunt. From West Does Brom. he take penalties? Takes free kicks. Takes, I think, I'm not quite sure if he takes penalties. I think the, um, the Berahino yeah, takes yeah. penalties. But I think he takes all the free kicks. He hasn't been playing Berahino, so oh, well, that might be a good Brunt, one. Brunt, yeah. Captain, yeah. had a bit of a, bit of a uh, bad mm. season by the West Brom fans. And I think West Brom got the value here. And I think all the betting angle has to be on the baggies for this yeah. one. OK, here's my treble this weekend. My treble is both teams to score in Southampton against Aston Villa. I fancy that a lot. That would be my banker of the weekend. It's happened in the last six, week, uh, six meetings. I'm going to go for Steven Gerrard to score any time. Bung him in. 31-20. to 20. Stevie G cap out a fantastic season with a penalty or a trademark free kick. Scored in the last two games as well in the game against Crystal Palace. And finally, Swansea, double chance against mm. Manchester City. I guarantee you one thing. We are going to, you're going to get one of these odds-on shots turned over this weekend and I think Swansea could be the one. Liverpool, I think, will win. But I also think West Brom, they almost made the treble, but not quite. What's your nap? I like the Swansea double chance, six to five. I think that's a fantastic bet. Yeah, very strong on that. Both teams score Arsenal, Man United, singles and doubles, but the single double chance Swansea. Pete, pleasure as always. Thank you, Nigel. And you, mate. OK, we're back next week for the very final bet zone here for Ball Sports with me, Nigel Seeley. And this, oh, enjoy your bets and good luck this weekend.